All right, it's the 18th of March, 2024. Good morning to you and you're welcome to the program. My name is Anil Fompoff and this is Good Morning Ghana. You follow us on all social media platforms, uh, even though we're within network challenges and we hope that it will be restored within the time period that government is considering. However, we thank God Almighty for giving us uh, yet another day to discuss issues of the country and we'll go through the headlines of the newspapers starting with the daily graphic and it says Ghanaians on edge await internet restoration. Bui Power explores wind power plants in Angnoga. Business, that's a graphic business, Tambic breakfast, uh, breakfast starts tomorrow. Lawyers split over courts shift system. Ghanaian Times. Tragedy, 21 perish in horrific road accident, road crash. Four children, others injured at Breku near Konongo. And on those notes, our prayers also goes out to uh, persons in hospitals who have crashed, uh, you know, suffered injuries from accidents, including our own Kwame Eugene, we're told that last night around uh, almost midnight, he was involved in an accident and is currently at the hospital receiving treatment. We hope that he gets well we wish him well there's adequate food supply to all shs's education ministry assures ghana estimated to lose 1.4 billion dollars annually through illicit financial flows delhi guide i'm prepared to lead spirited campaign shs's guaranteed food security education ministry GMPC CEO spearheads Ghana's oil and gas success, success. 21 killed in bloody crash. Internet outages, five weeks minimum to restore connectivity, NCA. New crusading guide. Golden Coast developers shines at International Property Awards for Africa. Bench warrant for lady who indicted, incited public against Chebi Apampam. Chebi Apapem Ekrahini or Inkurahini. Reports from CJ led explosive judgment. Anas is a victim of judicial defamation, a violent abuse of judicial power by the court. Justice Kolendi. Food, more food for SHS's Ministry of Education assures. Samuel in MPP Ashanti. Chairman Tom Tom calls Rex Bluff says Ridging has no disciplinary committee. The top right corner updates for update four and the sea cable disrupts affects data services. The insight was we're, we're suffering we're suffering pay as allocated uh, four billion CDs now. Customers of Takradi Gold Coast Fund Management appeals to finance minister and parliament. Another bloody Clash over Adan Songo Lagoon. Three wounded properties worth 450,000 Ghana cities destroyed. Wow. Transport Workers, Workers Union in Africa call for permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Gadangbe Lands Administration launched to tackle chieftaincy and land disputes. Herald. Asante Hene complicit in MPP's 400-acre Kumasi state land grabs, is the question. Goes curiously silent on CAF medical doctor's eviction matter. NCA needs five weeks to restore full internet service. Upper East Security Council clears local miners for Chinese, one dead. Cocoa farmers wanted Agongo's lithovit fertilizer. Cocoa Board's research director reviews in court. Audit report on, N on ECG confirms rot. The former Ashanti MPP boils over attempts by one to me to gag constituency chairman. NPP running mate Saga ignore Freema, Baumia advised. Ghana card at birth tackles multiple issues, Baumia. Ramadan. NPA supports chief imam in aid of needy Muslims. So what's maintaining proper sanitation 13th at 13th All-African Games? Zoom Lion deploys waste collection trucks. The Inquisitor. Amish illegal stay in office. GRA workers demand action. 
Amish illegal stay in office, GRE workers demand action. Napoto Africa, energy transition must factor decarbonization efficiency. We will use fintech to fight fraud, John Mahama. Review conditions of service of MPs, Afenyo Markin at the top right corner of the Inquisitor. And then on the top press, to Reverend Minister, government officials uh, harassing Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources to renew mining licenses for companies to continue to destroy forests and water bodies in the western region. Delhi Statesman. CCSG Lords First Lady for Improving Childhood Cancer Care. Finance Ministry IMF to host all summits today. NPA donates Ramadan package to needy. Appreciate Baumier's digitalization drive, says Franklin Kujo in the midst of internet disruptions. Education Ministry assures of food security in SHSs. The Daily Searchlight. Shocking economic mismanagement by MPP NDC. Ghana City depreciates by 1,304% in 17 years. Senior high schools have enough food education, uh, have enough food, education ministry. NPP inaugurates regional campaign teams. NPA donates Ramadan package to chief imam for the needy. And then we have a decomposed body of woman found in a ceiling top at Winchi. The Ghanaian publisher, a woman running mate is key to MPP, says Professor Kweku Adams. Rising tension in Ashanti, NPP chairman rally behind Richard Oforiata. GMPC CEO spearheading Ghana's oil gas success. Finance Ministry IMF hold AI summit. Gambian delegation lords Metro Mars. NPA donates to chief imam. The new finder, parliamentary candidate are anchor of MPP's 2024 victory, Dr. Baumia, Finance Ministry, IMF holds AI summit. Gambian transport officials applaud Metro Mass innovation. Africa's prosperity crucial, a global prosperity says, to global prosperity, says IMF MD after touring in Chroma Park. The Daily Post. Chief Justice, court shift system shows Mohammed's 24-hour economy is possible. Franklin Kujo. <laughs> Next, NDC government will create sustainable jobs, not the NAPCO type. Mahama. NDC warns EC over biased selection of electoral areas for May voters' registration exercise. Reckless spending to blame for Ghana's economic woes. MPP Kweku Kwating. Doomsaw. Tell Ghanaians the truth. Power challenge is purely generational. Uh, Mutawakilu. And then the Catholic Standard, strangely, uh, gave us a release on Sunday. It says, Catholic Church, one of leading development partners in Ghana. Malta President visits Hope Exchange Center. Some priests have no passion for evangelism. Bishop Louis. Africa's natural resources must benefit local population Stekham. and that's it for the headlines of the newspapers let's take a break we'll be back we plan a rapid and vigorous development of educational infrastructure in the first 18 months of the next MPP government. This will involve the building of 350 new senior high schools from scratch whilst rehabilitating and expanding existing ones. Since these schools will be spread across the length and breadth of our country, this construction activity will immediately lead to an explosion of employment in all districts of our country. Cause of Dumso and Dumso it has been caused by the financial and economic mismanagement by of this government. And so we shouldn't be giving them credit for solving a problem Justice. that they have solved. The economy is going to grow and grow and grow and we will have jobs and jobs and jobs.
This is the economy of Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. Currencies depreciate when the fundamentals are. All right, welcome back to the program. It's Good Morning Ghana and um, already been joining the studio by the guests with us today. Haja Rabi Salifu is the National Deputy Communications Director for the MPP. She's here with us. You're welcome. Good morning. And I hope your um, process is going well. Yes, yes. Ramadan Karim. Mm. When I say Ramadan Karim. What's the response? You say thank you in English. Oh. Or you say hi Karim. Or hi I don't want Ramadan. English. Hi, so higher Ramadan. Higher Ramadan. Yes. Higher Ramadan. Yes. Did I say well? You said it well. Wow. So maybe maybe when next during the month you should try and dress like us at least to just uh, yeah. solidarize with, with us. you. Yes, yes. It would be nice. If I had known earlier, I probably would have done yes, that. Yes. Look at how nice your dress is. Mm. You would have been more, 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 more. You are nice already, but you would have been super beautiful in hijab. Do you want me to arrange some for you? Yes. I can. I will. Please do. I already owe you one. You remember? Uh, oh, I don't remember that one. I even called to tell you about it. That you give me. We'll talk about it later. This is this <laughs> how, this how, this how they win souls. <laughs> anyway, bring it. I'll, I'll do that I'll for you. It. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. justice. I'll bring it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Professor Benedict Ayaria Fosu Mensa is also a lecturer, and she's also here with us as a member of the NP NDC communications team. You're welcome bringing her to every place. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Good morning, morning to you and to my co-panelists. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And happy Ghana Month to all of us. Yeah, thank this. you. Happy Ghana Month, right. I think it's also the women's um, something month, if we want to call International it. International yeah, women's. Yeah, we said we want yes, last year. Last, last week or last two weeks? Last two weeks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that reminds me. I think I should, I should actually thank the organizers of the Celebrate yeah. Hair. Um, foundation. They they actually honored myself and um, Honorable jo Joyce Bauer. Okay. We we oh, were yes. called. Yes, we were. Called. I should have even brought the plaque. The here plaque. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. It was really a, a very um, humbling moment, and and what made it beautiful was um, how we both spoke in terms of our principles and ideologies and coexistence as um, people, not not um, aggressive or or, or, or bad political mm -hmm. opponents. So it was a good one. Thank you so much, my dear sisters, for that wonderful. What, uh, what was the organization that organized that? They they called themselves the Empire Hair. No, the, the summit is called Empire Hair Summit. Can I even recollect yeah. their NGO name? I'll get mm. it for you. Mm. Yes. yes. Mm. Oh, so they are Maltima Foundation. I remember. Maltima. Maltima Foundation. Okay. Maltima Foundation. Is that in your language? Like yes, like like. Correct it for me. Multima yes, Foundation. Correct it for me. Okay. Foundation. Okay. And the young woman, she's called Fayuda. Her husband was there throughout to support her. That made it nice. Yeah. Yes, from the planning, mobilization, everything. He got us from the airport. And he was all over, like, making sure things were put. So all men, we love to see that all the time. And we that do reminds me of the, you for that. The singleton husband. Yes. Uh -huh. You see? <laughs> You see how supportive he is. <laughs> and my good husband, good morning, mm -hmm. Tia Lajanias. Thank you so much for being that wonderful father today. Mm -hmm. If they get supportive, they make you great. And I think it's good we always commend them for the good they do for us. Mm -hmm. It's also very useful. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting to discuss the Muslim husband one of these days. I'll yeah. be interested. And I'm already <laughs> interested to come. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so let me just remind you that MTN is giving you something to laugh about. It says a Momo Pay platform. You have to use that. And so it says that if you knew that MP MTN had an app, well, it will be interesting for you to try the Momo Pay app and win 1,000 Ghana cities monthly by using the Momo Pay. So you Momo today, and it says that it doesn't give you just 1,000 Ghana cities. It also gives you other amazing prizes. Uh, merchants are not left out. They also have, uh, you know, entitled to some prizes to win. So Momo, with your Momo Pay app today and win 1,000 Ghana cities every uh, week. You're entitled to that. Let me also, uh, you know, remind you of what Amin Medical Hospital has for you. And... It says that I'm in scientific experts in stroke, fertility, and other chronic diseases. R rush to treat your illness at Amin Scientific for quickly recovery. 
Ishala, and also Amin Scientific has advanced diagnostics med, uh, devices, including MRA, um, that can detect and treat your illness. Amin has good medical professionals who show empathy and care for your health. And I hope that you took advantage of the free health screening that was offered for, for us some weeks ago. Amin Scientific has efficacious uh, herbal medicines to treat your illness. And on that note, let me also add that they also give you, um, the, the, the herbal medicines are not just medicines that are given to you. It's measured. For some of you, you just take medicines anyhow. Because it's herbal, you drink, uh, it can kill you. <laughs> so please, get a doctors who are certified doctors to give you the right measurements to be taken. Armin Scientific has a nice and comfortable ward for admission of patients. So join the uh, testimonies as other patients have done. As Armin Scientific is rated as the best herbal hospital in Africa by the Black History Owners of Africa and, uh, and the China Ghana Chamber of Commerce. So call them on 020-722-9505 or 0245-27. 525, uh, 5254 or 0244-227192. So Armin Scientific and Alternative Medical Hospital, Alao Shafi, it says God is your healer. Blue Jeans Energy Drink has been on the market for over 20 years, and we already know what it does for the body. It contains vitamins and nutrients like vitamin B2, B3, B6, B12, as well as taurine and guarana. So which, you, which are known to boost your strength and energy as well as promote high performance and endurance. Blue Jeans Energy Drink has been tested and tried and it has indeed the best on the market. It is indeed the best on the market. Blue Jeans Energy Drink is for bold and active men and women. So go on, grab the cold can and power your day. It is in shops nationwide. For bulk purchases, contact them on Budget Cash and Carry Limited on 0208. One two eight one nine zero zero five five zero zero one zero zero zero. Please, zero is a, a lot, so take you know good note of it. Zero five five zero zero one zero 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 zero, and that's for blue jeans energy drink. You want to get bulk purchase, and you you get to you know uh, feed your family and also use it when it is very necessary. Right. So that's just about it. Let's get into the issues. Um, Aja, I think, uh, let me just put this across. I'll start with you on what, I don't know if I would say, what, okay, you created a bit of some debate. Let me use the right word because controversy will be too extreme. So using the right word, you created a little bit of some debate, and that has to do with the Ghana card launch for babies at the hospital. And um, I particularly threw a challenge to, I think, one of your members on social media. The Obama podcast. Uh, why are you mentioning this? Name? I read it. <laughs> I, you mentioned it. You were specific, and I read it. No, but, but, but sometimes your people are very impatient, too. I mean, I take life very easy. They should calm down. It's, it's not war. It's, I it's, sometimes it's all you for go peace. to look for the trouble. Yeah, yeah, eh, so I like trouble. Eh? You do like trouble, honey. <laughs> well, it's all for the peace. And, you know, for, <laughs> for the betterment of the whole country. And sometimes social media has come to help us, and people should understand that, I mean... It's really not a big deal. You just have to know how to use it. That's all. And also, so I, if, if you can brief us, really. It's been launched. Uh, we, we actually discussed it in our newsroom, um, how it applies. Um, I think we probably need some more information to it because we know that some codes will be given to the babies um, birth. at birth. And, so, and we've also uh, taken note of the consideration of Ghana's, Ghana's culture and how we practice, we practice it uh, at childbirth when you know, babies are born and how we name them and the process we go through and all that. So at maybe what minimum period within which is required that, okay, this baby can't have the card now. We also, we've also considered how long it probably would take for a baby's biometrics to be developed before it can be captured you know, and all that. So 
Take us through. What, what exactly is this? Uh, and and, and that, that, that brings me to the greetings Dr. Mahmoud Baumia says I should give to you oh. and your entire production. Are you serious? Or yes, I'm playing? serious. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Baumia says I should say good morning to you and your entire production Oh, team. I thought he would never talk to me. Oh. Why? Ah, uh, okay. So, you see, so that tells you the leader we have. Dr. Baumia is a leader who loves all. And you remember when he was doing his acceptance speech at El um, Elwak? He told us that, look, I admit that the youth need more. We have given them jobs, but they need more. I admit that... The Occupy Jilobi House demonstration is a legitimate one, and we will listen to the people. It tells you the level of acceptance and all-inclusiveness that he's looking for. He said the youth will have a voice. They still have, they already have a voice, and their voice will be intensified. And you see, you don't even expect him to send greetings to you and our viewers. He is telling you, a new good morning, and the viewers. He has his ears on the ground. He knows what you are doing. <laughs> he knows what she's saying. He knows what I am saying. And he is with them. You see the smile on you your face. You're doing well. Yeah, you're just doing it's well. Not, it's not that I'm doing well. <laughs> you're you're do, doing well by do, putting a smile on my do, face. Do you want me to show you the message? Because I yeah. told him daddy I'm going on Metro tomorrow. So if you to me. for me, I'll forward it to you. <laughs> That's with his permission. I will talk to him and forward it. You know it's not ethical to start doing this. Mm. But he said say hello to the team there. Mm. And certainly I am saying it to you, Randy. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> although sometimes you get mischievous, but we still love you <laughs> and we will always love you. I don't know why you put say sometimes I get mischievous. Oh, what Annie, but you know. <laughs> what, what's a mischief? But you How know. How do I get mischief? You know. How? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's go on. Oh, you won't tell so me. He says, yeah. So he says, so you want me to also call you mischievous? No. I mean, I have people call you mischievous, Annie. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> Do you want me to call you mischievous? Oh, too? of course not. Uh, of course, yes. I don't want to call you You know you my name already. Uh -huh. You don't need mischievous. So, so I don't want to respond. say you are mischievous or something. Yes. Yes, yeah, so good morning to Prof. Prof is looking very beautiful too. You see, we are. I think this morning we need to do like a Thank photo you. shoot or something <laughs> together. Me, Ramadan me, photo shoot. Yeah, let me alert my team. <laughs> Yes, so mm -hmm. I bring you great things from him and his mm -hmm. beautiful wife. He actually said that you say hello to the team right. here and all our viewers. And I'm excited you are starting from his initiative. And it's as simple as you have already preempted. Excessive com consultation was done from the trigger point when the idea came up that look, in terms of database, just like we are seeing on property naming, property numbering, and all that. Today, when you just enter, or oh, I shouldn't mention my location, I, I almost did. When you just enter my house GPS number mm. or address, the Google map brings you there. Unless, of course, you are not very conversant with the navigation. So the addressing is a very good one. And we all agree, and Ghanaians are so happy with that. Mm. Now it's about restructuring and organizing the database of we, the human beings. So he is saying, look, let's not be struggling at the births and deaths. Let's not be struggling with chunk of files that sometimes they even have struggle in going through or to sort or segregate. We can do that at birth. And that is what we are seeing. That is what was launched. Now it's about development of the biometric. I mean, the, the, the how the do they call it? The baby's yeah, um, fingers and fingerprints and all that. So the consultation and expert advice gave the cap of zero to six years. So by six years, at least the babies, all the features and parts would have been well developed for capturing of the fingerprints. So now what will happen is that at birth, the baby will be given a code that is linked to the mother's information or the parent's information. And see what makes it very prudent is this child tapped and all that we have heard about in the past. I don't know whether it's always out of negligence or something. You hear that, we used to hear that, I don't get to hear that lately, I don't know if that still exists, that somebody has given birth and they can't find the baby or the baby was exchanged. Even the, the, oh, the it initial, still, it still exists actually. good, the current practice is that when you give birth and when I give birth to my baby, or all these children, what happens is that they normally would give you a tag with a unique number. The nurses know how to identify. They come to act, take the mother's folder 
And because I am not too lettered in terms of their health practices, I wouldn't know exactly what they are. But what I know is that when you look on the band of the baby, you would have seen a unique number or some information on it that says this baby is for Rabi. And when, whilst you are even recovering, the baby, when the baby needs re, um, need some attendance or if attendance or in case of unconsciousness, when they need to revive the baby, they take the baby to either ICU or NICO or somewhere to work on the baby or even bath the baby and bring you. You see that in most cases, because there is some kind of identification on the baby, they bring your baby to you and you know it's true. Mm. This is your baby. And mostly when they talk, take off the baby from your womb, they show the baby to you. If you speak Dagbani or Hausa, they say, Madam, I remember very well that the, the doctors will always show, or the nurse will show the baby to you. This is what you have had. You have had a girl. Look at her. Before they will wrap the baby and take them to the How next How do you day. say it in your language? Madam, yeah. like, Madam, this is what you have had. Either a boy or a girl. And some of the nurses will go extra to tell you it's a girl or a boy and congratulate you based on the relationship and how the nurse wants to go about it. Then they go to prepare the baby and bring back to you. Now, what Dr. Bahmoud Baumia is saying is that it's true, we can still do it. We have that unique number, like I have just said, linked up to the mother. Then, when the baby is six years, they can have the capturing that. And that tells you already the baby would have had the information in the system and tracking our database even per enclave per region per family and all that look at what happens to leap beneficiaries you go in the compound the household you have number of people that are supposed to be benefited so if you know the number of people that are found in the household or in the community or in an area it tells you that planning for these people becomes easy and i am telling you it has several implications from finances from our social intervention from even our economy because dr mahmoud baumia being a visionary leader would always bring you the initiative but when you unpack it you get to know the long-term effect from the direct indirect beneficiary short-term and long-term benefits of all that is going on it's no more about somebody asking me Rabbi, how many people do you have in San Argo constituency? Then I'll say, oh, give me some time to cross-check, get you the data and come. Or I'll mention a data that is not that realistic. Now the health facilities will have it. And that is what we are talking about. Besides keeping it that um, organized and specific and accurate, we can also, in future, be able to boast of um, a very informed um, populace that knows exactly what we are about in terms of planning. So that if you were planning for babies in the next five years, today you would have known as of um, 25th of March, I got this number of babies plus our existing data. And you see, it's not just the birth and death, that, um, the birth um, registration that is ongoing. All data that is with regards to the human being having to do with birth and death is going to be restructured <coughs> and well placed <coughs> so that we don't have um, data inaccuracies. It would improve on our productivity because everything boils down to planning. And when you plan effectively with the right numbers, then you take the right decisions, Annie. So this is what I have got to say for so now. So how, how well have we been able to, uh, say, network to all our health facilities to ensure it has it kick started already since it was launched it's 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 the pilot i know um i am a summer is is Gawet. no is it Gawet? i'm a summer hospital the, 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 no the municipal assembly, assembly. Is what? Yeah, that's Gawet. Gawet. Gawet, yes so the the piloting was done around Gawet. they have done several and, and what was it, what were the results How yes was the piloting like so the good thing is that my kid sister works there she's a fiscal planner there yesterday she was telling me sister rabia was with honorable fatima Bukhara. i said where she said when they came for the piloting and she's saying she is very very objective person she was telling sister rabia that's a very good thing even the community members that came to take part in the process were super excited and the mothers were more particular about this baby exchange and child types and all that and also being or giving us the fact that people or the country will be able to have accurate number of, I mean, data, data. accurate data. 
which will inform effective planning is what kills it off, um, what kills it. So yes, stakeholder consultation has gone on. It's all hand on deck. And you see the level of publicity that has gone down on this thing. There was massive publicity on this. People have been informed. And as we are talking about it, it's still sending information. Yeah. We all are still giving information. And I'll commend you for discussing it at your news. I know CBS has spoken about it. As I see has spoken. Other big, um, I mean, platforms. Facebook, we are talking about it and everything is nice. When I saw your comment to Obama, I said, hey, I knew you know, let us rest. <laughs> and I'm glad they came to give you answers. But people, people, if you, they didn't give me answers. They just insulted me. Oh, no, I saw some answers. Oh, you didn't see that. Okay, the then church. I'll come and answer your question. People there. don't know the relationship <laughs> between myself and Sir Obama. I know. So, I mean, and you see, when you go on people's platforms and, and you they don't are know, teasing each other. Yeah, yeah, you don't know the yeah. relationship between the two of them. Mm. You just, you know, excuse my word, foolishly yeah, be yeah, attacking yeah. for no reason. Yeah, and even that brings me to um, the I conversations mean, we have. How is it not good? That I ask the question, yeah. tell us about it yeah. and how it applies. But answer me here so everybody will learn. And how yeah, does I, that, I even think that should be encouraged. How you know does why? That call in fact, people insulted me and attacked my profession. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Annie, you see, it depends that on the... It de you, you, know what, you know what? It depends <laughs> on the lens the person watches you with. To be fair, you see, if the person has already tagged or seen Annie, it's, it's about perspectives. I can look at you as a very objective person who asks specific questions and all that. Or I can still, still be the same person who will look at you to be that mischievous person who would always heckle and pull me <laughs> here yeah. and there. So it depends on what and how I see you. Yeah. So if that person comes to read your post, yes, some will say it's good. Because when I actually saw it, I thought twice. I said, okay, this will even inform others. Yeah. And I was so sure that uh, Obama would provide the information. Yeah. So I didn't even bother going through <laughs> their responses and all that. But, well, it's part of the work. And it's on the job it, hazard. It, 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 you know, it's unfortunately, <laughs> some people were like, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes people too. Once I was laughing on the other side, <laughs> people were worried. <laughs> this is them calling me, are you okay? <laughs> But you know what you are doing. <laughs> and you know it's part of the work. So you, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you more when we get to the past sure. situation. <laughs> ah, yeah. Prof. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good morning to our cherished viewers. Yeah, good but, but before that, so I was just checking yes. if, um, you know, the system has been networked. Yeah, they, with the, with it, the, it's still in the process. So how, apart from your sister's account to you, mm. Is, is that to say that it, it would, the, the piloting was a success? Very much successful. So people give birth and then they give them the codes. Yes, and already the, the, the health facilities are ongoing or, or are in the process of being trained and then more information is given to them okay. on how best they can do it swiftly and all that. Okay, so this system should be able to, within a certain time frame, yeah. should be able to give us the number of babies that have received uh, in a given codes, health a facility given, exactly. at a given time. It, so and even tally it. Of I mean. course, yes. And that even brings us to commitment and proactivity. You know, it's one thing bringing all these fantastic ideas and the implementation is other, the other. Now, the, the, the visionary man has given us this policy, I mean, initiative. It could be a policy as well. What I am saying is that I am appealing humbly to the practitioners who will be handling this data, to take it that serious. Because if somebody brings you a beautiful idea as a brainchild, nurturing it, implementing it, and sustaining it is, a, is the, the way forward we should be looking at. So yes, they should take the education serious, they should take the implementation serious, and they should own it and love the fact that we have a very organized country and still building on what we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prof, yeah. can I you on, on, on Ghana card at birth, Ghana card number <laughs> at, at birth. Yeah, good morning to our cherished viewers and good morning to you and uh, my co-panelists. Um, yeah, when the issue of uh, Ghana card at birth, you see, Annie, um, for me, the challenge I have with our vice president is the issue of identity crisis. Who is Dr. Baumia? Or His Excellency, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Is he an economist? Is he an IT expert? 
is he? I mean, before MPP came to power, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Obamia touted himself as an economist, as a man who is able to change the fortune of Ghana or our economy overnight, as somebody who is an economist or economic guru. Now, down the lane, you won power in 2017. He's made the head of the economic management team. Dr. Baumia, as at today or now, has around eight, six to eight advices or economic advices. Even with that, he's failed so miserably because we can see that our economy, as at now, is in a junk state. Somebody who had six to eight advices failed and have turned our economy into a junk state. An era where Ghana is broke. Bank of Ghana is broke. We are not able to go to the international market to borrow. We reached a state where people who did their investment lost their investment because we had to meet some conditionality in order to even seek bailout from IMF. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has completely abandoned his mandate as the leader or the head of the economic management team. And he's now touting himself as an IT specialist. As, as we all know, we know Dr. Bamud Bamia is not an IT expert. And we are not even aware of he having um, advices or IT advices. And so when he goes about launching, he's a digitalization expert, he's doing this, he's doing that. We ask ourselves, what happened to our economy? Why has he abandoned the economy and he's now doing things that are supposed to be done by the sector minister. Why would our vice president not leave this for the sector minister to do? What I'm expecting from him as of today or now is he telling us about initiative or strategy that he's putting in place to turn our fortune, to turn the economy around. As of this morning, the city to a dollar is 13 cities, 30, uh, 13 cities, 30 pesos to one dollar. We have unemployment. As of 2016, 8.4. Today, it's at 14.7. We expect the head of the economic management team to tell us some strategy, some policies, some initiatives he's putting in place to make sure that the team uh, uh, youth out there who are unemployed, the increasing rate of unemployment is reduced. That is what we expect from him as vice president. We expect him to tell us that he's putting measures in place to arrest the city that he promised us he was going to arrest when he went power in 2017. That is what we are expecting him to tell us. We are expecting His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Obamia to tell us that he is taking steps or he's putting initiative in place to make sure that the inflation that unprecedentedly or um, in the history of Ghana we've not seen before, he's putting measures in place to make sure that inflation comes down. That is what we expect him to do. As today we are talking. So, so, so you're saying that, um, which sector minister were you expecting uh, to have done this? We have. And, and then um, you say the Dr. Baumia should give us, you know, Specifics on the economy. If anything at all, he could have captured the Ghana card at birth, whatever, in the, uh, his economic address. Is that what you're saying? So that he's not associated in any way with policies of this nature. Mm -hmm. You see, we have sector ministers in place. And what these ministers are to do is to follow the policies that probably were put in place before they came to power in terms of their manifesto. But I know that 
along the way, ministers also try to come out with their own initiative to either improve on what um, the party already have there as, as a policy. Right. So, yes, the party has as a, um, um, a, a manifesto policy in order to improve different sectors depending on whatever they put there. That is what the sector ministers are supposed to do. So I expect the sector minister of uh, communication to have handled this and his Excellency Mahmoud Baumia, we know as part of our constitution, is supposed to be in charge of our economy, in charge of improving the lives of Ghanaians. That is the mandate of every government, that when you come, you are to improve the lives of your people. And so if he has completely abandoned his mandate as a vice president, mm. and as I said, he has about six to eight economic advices and he's failed woefully to the extent that our economy is considered or is, is, is now called a junk uh, state economy. And now he goes about touting himself as an IT expert. Meanwhile, we know he is not an IT expert. We are not also aware about his IT advices. And so for me, I see it as you know, um, having failed in his mandate to manage the economy, he's just trying to leverage on things that sector ministers are supposed to do by going about saying that you want to um, allocate uh, Ghana car to new birth. You know, what Dr. Mahmoud Obamia also failed to do was to also acknowledge the impact or to acknowledge the contribution of his predecessors, that's His Excellency John Dramani Muhammad's administration, in the role they played in bringing about this Ghana card. A foundation was laid as of 2016. NDC passed the law that made Ghana card the sole document for uh, identity in Ghana. They also processed about 4.7. Uh, million cards and distributed about 900,000 uh, cards uh, before they left PA and also collected biometric and demographic data, you know. But unfortunately, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Obamia never acknowledged any of these things, made Ghanaians to believe that he brought about this issue of Ghana card, he brought about digitalization, he is now going to give uh, um, new uh, numbers or cards to um, kids at birth. But you ask yourself, is that his mandate? Is this the mandate of our vice president but, but to maybe go... Um, doing this thing. May, I feel this is the mandate of mm. maybe, the Maybe minister. it's necessary. I mean, I, I like to hold and stand by my principle yeah. all the time, regardless what's happening. And one principle I held was when Nanado came into office, I personally wrote an open letter to him on social media. And that was about identity and building our data. And when you have to build the data, you really, really need to start from the base because yeah. we've gotten to a point where we've lost it. Mm -hmm. So we now have to pick the pieces together and, you know, see how. And I stated, I remember in my write-up, I said, you can only succeed on, you know, taking Ghana from one point to the other with accurate data. data. Yeah. Because it's that data that will give you the... Um, the technical know-how of how to apply your policies. So I see it as... And you didn't get re it's result-oriented implementation of policies. Because well, if you have accuracy... Well, that's also dependent the on result, how the, the implementation becomes, goes. But the yeah, first Im course. important thing to do is to get your data Correct. rightly. So is, is this not a good thing, um, even if Dr. Baumia, who was put in charge of the economy, to be interested in? Yes, so I am not saying that what he is doing is wrong. As he portray 24-hour economy is a wrong policy. That is not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that this is something that could be done by right. the sector oh. uh, minister. It's not something that a vice president should go out there and I'm launching Ghana card for <laughs> new <laughs> birth and people policy. should applaud him. Look. It is good that Ghana as a country, we need accurate data mm. 
of our population to inform us in terms of uh, policy formulation, to inform us about even um, expansion of certain sectors. Because we know that, yes, as the population increases, you have to make room for these increments. But what I'm saying is that there are things that are meant for, just like an assemblyman, there are things that are meant for assemblymen to do. There are things that MPs are supposed to do. The same way there are things that sector ministers are supposed to do. And there are things that vice president are supposed to do. So I expect His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Obamia at an era, or in an era that Ghanaians are crying, school feeding program is virtually collapsed, Free SHS, as they tout it, is no more free. We have unemployment, an increase in unemployment. We have CD now going off the roof. We expect His Excellency, our Vice President, to tell us steps he is taking to make sure that these crises or these things we are seeing in our daily lives are either improved or are prevented. That is what I expect from him. We know that as at today, NAPCO beneficiaries are still not paid some allowances. We know that national service, they have some allowances in areas. These are things that we expect our vice president to tell us that these are initiatives, or these initiatives are things we are putting in place. This is what we are doing mm -hmm. to make sure Why that the way we are seeing our economy now. Can you can you allow, allow me? <laughs> when we're talking, about, can you allow me to laugh, please? What we are expecting is that he making or taking initiative to improve on the lives of Ghanaians. That is my point, or that is the point I'm driving at. I know collection of data is very important. That helps us in terms of development. It helps us to plan effectively. But this could have been done by the sector minister. It is not time for His Excellency uh, Mahmoud Obamia to go around and say that he's launching um, a Ghana card for new baby. For me, this is not something that he's mandated to do. He could just leave that. So in a nutshell, I feel he has failed us as Ghanaians in terms of improving our lives, in terms of the economy, you, and he's you just think trying some of these to do. Policies to, that to, to, he's spearheading is populist. It's populist. It's populist. You know, he's always taking credit for Ghana Card, which is which is false because yes, he yes. didn't start Ghana Card. He didn't start it. If you want to trace Ghana Card, it started somewhere in Kufo era when um, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama came. They passed the law. They also collected biometric exercise. They, they processed about 4.7 million. So, you, you, I mean, your predecessors cannot do all this. Then you come and then say, oh, okay, I have bought Ghana card. I know some of the media houses got their Ghana card in 2016. So how can His Excellency uh, Mahmoud Baumia today tell us that he was the one who started Ghana card and he is the uh, digitalization uh, guru in this country? Yes. I think he is, he is just a failed um, vice president because he is failed in the economy. Look, you are an expert in, let's say, communication or you are an expert in, 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 in media um, activity. You cannot all of a sudden, you know, uh, tout yourself as a lawyer and trying to quote the laws in Ghana, trying to do things related to law. You cannot do that. Or you just all of a sudden just wake up one day and say you are a mathematician and you want to go and um, teach in a university or calculate things on calculus and things. You cannot do that. We all have our area of expertise, mm -hmm. and we try to tone in that lane. We may try to deviate by trying to either um, discuss or bring our ideas that are outside our area of expertise, but that does not make us experts, you know. So that is what we are expecting from him. Dr. Bamud Bamia said he was, what, the, is it a deputy governor of Bank of Ghana, and he's an economist, uh, his excellency, Nanado, said he was bringing him to help him let the economy, the economy grow. And he himself said when they come, there will be jobs and jobs and jobs. Today, where are the jobs? 
unemployment has increased or has increased over the years from 8.4 to now 14.7. So he's failed. And for me, I just see this as um, probably hanging fruit he's trying to hold on. Say when somebody is getting drowned and if you see a straw, oh, yeah. you want to hold onto the straw, hoping that the straw will fail you. But nevertheless, um, these things would not save him or would not save the face of he having failed Ghanaians because uh, we promised so much. And he himself, those days, had several lectures um, telling us that when he came, he was going to make sure that he turned things around within a few years. But we have seen situation worsen over the years. In fact, they have simply no business to remain in power because the mandate of every government is to improve the lives of his, uh, its uh, people. And if our lives have been made worse off over the years, this government has no business to be in power. So for me, um, these are just straws Vice President is holding on in order to save his face. Mm. Mm. Adia. So, so, so this is how um, the, the, the system is. It is captured in either the district health information system, e-tracker, at the CHIPS or health centers, or in the hospitals. And the notification of the birth is sent to the birth and death registry, which then issues the birth registration number and sent back to the digital health information system cycle e tracker so that's a cycle that it, it will take but the question is uh, as she's saying to be honest with you she's not the first person i'm hearing this from uh, the fact that the vice president is being too populist and every little uh, policy he wants to be there and be you know leading it's opening and commissioning and all that. So she and other people saying it makes it a fact? I'm giving you the opportunity to respond to. So it doesn't she, make it a fact. She's not making it official on a it, platform. It, it doesn't make it a fact. It's her, her view and opinions can always be shared. It's about stating what exactly the case is. And that is why I am here and I'll do exactly that. Starting with identity crisis. Must one be one-sided or straight-jacketed to be an implementer or a leader? Are we not ready as a country to have a leader who is versatile? Are we not too excited who is not just limited to his speciality or specialization, but having fine brains, fine understanding, great initiatives? Annie. You can't be wearing this beautiful dress every day. It doesn't make it the only dress you have. You probably would love it, or you probably would want to keep it as your signature dress. But it means your closet should also be as rich as possible, so that whenever there is a need for a black attire, you pick it and wear. When there is a need for red, you wear red. So the essence of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia being able to implement, being able to bring about very great policies in this country should be commended and not you, you be, be, be ridiculously um, you when there's presented. In this case, like you said, was there a need you, for you the even, vice president you just, said, you just said, you just said you saw it as a gap for us as a country the to have accurate data and everything. And which, that brings she me... Agrees. She does, She did agree. And you see, I got a little confused. When she was battling with um, who started Ghana Card, going back to Kufuor's regime and, and NDC coming, what has happened to our... Look, the little NGO service I have done taught me that in Project Life um, Span, you should be concerned about your entry to your post-implementation stage. Mm -hmm. And what happens to your post-implementation is sustainability. So do they want to tell us when they came to do the apron and the runway and the canal lights at the um, Tamale International Airport, which they called phase one, we should have sat there and keep clapping that, yeah, this is what they came to do. No. If the resources are still there, we should be a good government to go and put up that beautiful structure we go through today, proudly utilizing, happily announcing, 
And I met some of their MPs there. One of them happened to be my former teacher. And even MP where an MP to um, our former president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama at the airport. And I did a short video, very, very jovial one, of course. And they admitted, they said, yes, it's beautiful, but we secure. I said, whatever. Even that is still subject to discussion. But the point is, if you had started implementation and somebody comes to abrogate it, what, 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 what would the person be doing to Ghana? Are they expecting that whatever beautiful initiative we are bringing? So it tells us that if we make a mistake, and in an unlikely event that these people come back to take this country, to lead us, they would go and abolish all the beautiful policies we have today. Trust me, because they don't believe, and that's what she's just presenting this morning, they don't believe in picking from where somebody has ended. Whether MPP started it, NDC started it, what matters is picking the policy, reviewing it, continuing, so that you, you have would an have example, the value. Do you have an example of any policy? They say even even Gamma Card implemented and they came and they abolished it. Oh, she is preaching that nobody should even come and talk about it. Nobody should even say you started it or she you did what 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 what. She said she said she, she said Dr. That. Mahmoud oh, Baumia. Like she said Dr. Like? Mahmoud Baumia. I'm like that. I'm just telling you what I heard. She said Dr. Oh, Mahmoud Baumia. People. Oh, if I misquote, I'll say I've misquoted you. you. I haven't. I heard her right. Probably you weren't following. No, what she was no, saying. no, 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 Rabbi. Look, she said. No, no, no. I'm repeating what she said. And you don't do this. To no, me. She you said, two don't do that to her. <laughs> she said Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Huh? Would take credit of everything and say he brought about Ghana card. So, Annie, but she, she, she again, so let me come. If you have an idea and you start implementation, then even that, where, where, Dr. where Dr. specifically, Mahmoud, where, no, even, even that, card. did he come to say it on national television that, and I am bringing Ghana card? Oh. But you have been using the word initiate, <laughs> initiate, initiate. Should oh, I, should I pick one if, of them? If you were having this bottle, <laughs> if you were having this bottle, you've not done the implementation you haven't done it, and I have come to make it more visible. You didn't initiate more, it. More feasible. You didn't initiate more, it. More implementable. I have the right to, to say, say I am doing it. That you initiated oh. it. Let me come. This, this baby's registration. Whoever. Who has done that? You're talking about Ghana card. No, is it not because giving them cards? Up. Is it's it not registering up. the babies? What, what, what a build up or what? The, the it Ghana, is an initiative oh, we are talking about. Oh, and he has initiated hold on, it. Hold on. Yes. Take your time. I'm cool. Take you. your time. I'm cool. The I'm Ghana very card, cool. The baby's yes. numbers yes. that are being given. Yes. It's linked to Ghana card. But what's wrong it with linking this to Ghana card? It's not a stand alone policy. You know that. But, Annie, are we looking for progress or we are there to claim credit? That, that's a, that's so, the what point. I am saying is that the most important thing. What our focus should be is how we are utilizing the taxpayers' money. What our focus should be, the result, and whoever did it. Who did it and who didn't do it? It's a problem that we can always, always give a secondary attention. But what I think should be paramount is the fact that who is doing the right thing. And I am telling you, she has admitted that taking accurate data, that planning properly with good data would only lead us. Secondly, Annie. Look, whether Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is an economist or he's no more economist, the last speech he presented as to UPSA, mm. you heard him loud and clear. He took us from where? And he told us, look, I am proudly submitting that as a, 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 a leader of the Economic Management Committee, I am so proud that myself and the committee, we did our best in suggesting, in bringing beautiful policies for implementation. Some were taken, some weren't taken, but the bug doesn't stop to us. And to get vindicated at His Excellency the President Sona, we all <laughs> heard him loud and clear. He said, they look, they bring it. My subordinate did his best. He brought all the beautiful initiatives. But here is the case. He is not the ultimate word giver. So are what you, I am are saying again about, is that... Mm -hmm. Are you worried about the fact that Dr. Baumia seemed to have been, seemed to have stopped talking about the economy? He is only concentrating on other matters and will do all when the time comes. <laughs> Tomorrow, you don't be surprised if in the next two hours you hear him talking about economics. If there is a need to talk about data organization and registration of Ghana card and linking our needs synergizing all our information it is time to do that and even if you pair that with global happenings everywhere today today like this they'll be doing the ai conference summit at kempinski i guess and this is what we are talking about 
if the world is going right, do not want to go left. So at a given moment when there was a need to talk about economics, he spoke largely on economics. And tomorrow, if he has to talk about economics, he will always come back to talk about economics. So he thinks there's no and need we to talk have, about the economy now? Oh, just yesterday, they were interacting with the IMF delegation. He was part of it. He would talk if there is a need to talk. And coming back to sector minister implementing whatever, what we are saying is that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia doesn't move an inch on a project or an initiative without involving the critical stakeholders. The sector ministers are always part. The stakeholders, even the key, the technical staff, are always on the drawing board from beginning to the implementation. So mm. what we are saying <coughs> is that if you sit and say the sector minister, which sector minister has the power in this country to just bring out an initiative and start implementing without passing it through the right or not? And if she's even talking about so Dr. Dr. Mahmoud you Baumia, that you're not being fair to minister. I say they, have they right pass it through the right. Even yeah, if you are bringing they, the initiative, yes, but the point you I still want need to, make, to pass yes, it but through consultation. They have rights to bring they initiatives. Do. They will pass through they the pass. necessary so authorities, said, necessary but they authority. also have some entitlement to launch policies. They do. I mean, I mean, they, do. I mean it happens they launch. In if every it is country. launching, it's launching. But it ministers are powerful. Let's not. They make are. Them I am not useless. saying they are not. And <clears> don't, don't say that. I'm not saying they are not. But I am saying, like you and myself are saying that. It has to pass through. And she knows that most of these I initiatives and policies that are being passed certainly do go through Parliament. Mm -hmm. And if she checks the parliamentary hazard, do, do we have, apart from the workouts, they normally will stage and come back later to say we have agreed. Are they not the same NDC MPs who sit with our MPs to do the policy, uh, policy approval and implementation? They even are part of the implementation stage because when something is not going on, you see Honorable Mutala, my own brother, would come and stand in the floor of parliament and punch holes and say this must be done. Is that not beautiful democracy? Right. So <coughs> if it is not you, don't come and, and sound right. as though. So now so I, I so want to no, land no, on this. No, no, let me land. No, let me no, land. Just, just to rebut. We are taking I'm, I'm landing on my yes, rebuttal. You are taking almost <laughs> a full time to rebut. But, but some, some questions to you. Why has Dr. Baumia, okay, that's what I asked. Why has Dr. Baumia stopped talking about the economy. Today, Has the responsibility been removed or taken away no, from no, no, his no. portfolio? He's still, of, he's still in cabinet talking is he about it. The MPP, if there is a need to address he, him, come and address. And the MPP saying that without he, Baumia, digitalization and digitization and digitalization wouldn't happen. Good morning from Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa in the UK, good morning to you. Um, mm -hmm. so, so let me also so, this, Annie. This is from a staunch NDC person. Listen, Annie. For the first time, I am no, supporting no, no, no. babies I, giving Ghana cash. No, I have a strong NDC member, but I love this initiative by Baumia. This one says that, Annie, good morning. Interesting discussions. Can the NDC representative please tell us the job description of the vice president as stated in the constitution or the schedule given to him by the president? I'll be glad to know who issued the Ghana card to JDM. Some, <clears throat> someone will definitely start something and another will continue. I'm just awaiting, I'm just waiting for the day either the MPP or NDC will call, will claim the attained independence political authority from Ghana 1957. That will be a banger. Mark from USA. Um, um, mm -hmm. This says, isn't it interesting that Dr. Baumia, who, who was sold to us as the economic messiah, is now digitalization messiah? How much? Is the government paying for the developers of these apps? Okay, I think those are questions that we, we journalists have to probe anyway, how much we're actually putting or spending on these ones. Annie, Good morning, that. Annie. In, in 2016, Ghanaians sold their Samsung 64-inch color television and brought in black and white uh, a, Kasam, a Kasanuma inch, one-inch television, Smile Horoya. Ali from Nima. <laughs> okay, I now understand your message. <laughs> <laughs> but Prof, I'll give you some few minutes, uh, you know, to also rebut it. Yes, um, I think uh, my good friend here is uh, mixing issue up. You know, it's not an issue of uh, His Excellency Babundu Babia has come to continue from where Ghana ended. He never acknowledged that. NDC started Ghana card. He said he initiated it. That is the picture they've always been. And even on platform, 
on social uh, media platform like this. They said, oh, he's a good guy. He's, he's initiated Ghana Card and blah, blah, blah. But look, we need to acknowledge that he didn't start Ghana Card. Mm. Ghana Card existed before MPP came to power. And then yeah. again, she talked okay, about the fact power. that the fact that um, the, he came to initiate very beautiful policies and things. Yes, policies are supposed to improve the lives of citizens. But Annie, can you tell me that today your life is better off than it was in 2016? Very well. How? I can speak for Annie. Annie, everything is, is out well. of gear. Look, Look let me just give you an example. Our debt to GDP in 2016 was 54%. Today, it's 104%. In 2016, our debt as a country was 120 billion. Today, we are talking about 600 billion. In 2016, inflation, as at the time they were crying, things were expensive, and now we are suffering and suffering. Inflation was 15.4. Today, inflation is over 23%. Today, down from the, 50 something percent. Yeah, exactly. From 54, is it 54.3 54. uh, or so percent? The, the city to a dollar in 2016 <laughs> was 3.8. 3. Uh, 3. Today, this morning, the dollar is trading as 13.3 uh, 13 ah, Ghana it, cities. It's risen to 13. It has increased to 13 cities, 30 pesos to a dollar. So how can you tell us that you will, your policy improve on the lives of Ghanaians? Unemployment in 2016 was 8.4%. Today, when he said when they come, there will be jobs and jobs and jobs. Today, unemployment is at 14.7%. Why is Excellency uh, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya those days had leches? He said when they come to power, Within 18 months, there will be no community in Ghana that will have water or toilet problem. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Today, go to our beaches. People are still defecating. There's still open defecation all over. Water, in fact, Ghana Water Company have sent signals that we should store enough water because they'll start rationing water. So the issue of they are going to make sure that no home or no um, community will be with that water. What has happened to that policy? The policy of planting for food and jobs. What happened to it? I don't know, beautiful policies. The policy of one village, one dam. This is the time we need the water. Go to the dam and see how many of the dugouts have water in them. So these are just rhetorics. They just rhetoric, they, 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 you know, they, they, they always keep mentioning one so, district, so, one so factory, is, you one cannot, village, one you cannot, it's, it's good. You cannot but be they, leading policies, have policies and launching policies when you have not even given us a report of what you said you were going to do. Exactly. We don't have an account of that. The For me, on, they have failed. The no, no, you said you give us a tracker. What is this? The, <laughs> the performance tracker will come, but during his speech, this No, one, no, no, but we cannot take he, this he, speech. He, he, uh, look, 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 you are only in Harry. No, no, no. You are the, only report, in the report you are of only all those Russian. policies cannot be the captured delivery, in this speech. The delivery tracker, <clears throat> the performance tracker will be given to you. You would utilize it, and it's subject to fact. I don't know if Prof has ended, so I'll pick it from there. No, no I'll be yeah, ended. No, you're not coming. I mean, no, let me yeah, just come. land, just mm -hmm. a minute. Yeah. Look, the no, issue no. of this, even <laughs> the tracker she's just bringing on board. Look, tracker will not put food on our table. Ah, Annie, would a tracker put food on your table? Has a tracker changed your, your, your lifestyle or, let's say, the, the amount of money you have in your pocket? How have their policy improved on our lives? Mm -hmm. It is zero. Their okay. policy have not improved on our lives. So they say you should because wait for the tracker. Example, in 2016, you are, you are struggling. They say you should wait for tracker. 2016, <laughs> it, I mean, if look, you look. had, let's say, your salary, the amount of, let's say, a bag of cement your salary could buy in 2016 is far more than it can buy today. 2016, a bag of uh, whatever, uh, cement, for mm -hmm. example, was around 20, 22, 23 Ghana cities. Today, we are talking about 95 Ghana cities. So how can you say that your policies have improved on our lives? Today, our debt has increased and now we cannot even go to the international market. In fact, we have front-loaded 
paying off our creditors to uh, 2026, 2027. And then you turn around and tell us that your policy has improved. I mean, you see, you can do all the propaganda, but in the lives of the people, what people are going through on a daily basis, that is what is going to expose you because nobody is going to buy into this propaganda, into this rhetoric any longer. You touted yourself as what? The Messiah, the Jesus that is coming to what? Save Ghana from our state in mm. 2016. Mm. But today, so, you've been exposed mm. big time. And that is why His Excellency Mahmoud Obamia, someone will say, to be able to at least leverage on something, he's going to hide himself around the IT because the economy is a no-go area for him. But in this election, it is going to be based on the economy. Mm. Ghanaians right. are feeling the pinch of an incompetent, a government that cares about its citizens because whilst they were telling us that tighten your belt, things are getting tough, they were loosening DS. Okay. We see. So, so, after the break, if you can, text me or uh, you can write on our social media platforms. It will be forwarded to me. Or our WhatsApp number uh, that's displayed on the screen we will get the details of your messages. Let's understand. Maybe we can even uh, put some of the messages on the screen for you. Let's understand how the power situation was like over this, this weekend. Um, how did it go with you in your house? Was it improved? If maybe your power had been going off for about eight hours or three hours or two hours, has it improved to about one hour or something? Let's see how the load shedding situation is going. Um, authorities don't want us to call it doom so. But I don't know. We'll be back after this break because um, the ECG boss, uh, MD, has also been speaking about your rights and privileges. We'll be back shortly. The funny thing is, we walk around thinking it's our right to electricity. Isn't it? It's not a right. It's, it's a not. privilege. I see. It becomes a right when you are paying. Aren't we paying? Some are paying, others are not. No, but... Uh, some are paying, again. others are not. Don't, others are... don't put... Don't, don't lump it together. You're just lumping everything together and see, it's not a privilege. It's a right see, because we've paid for it. That's the truth. That's what I'm saying. Some, I said it earlier... Some are paying, others are not. Others have tampered with the meter. It's not reading right. Someone has had a prepaid meter that he's been paying only a certain set amount every single month. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the program. So I'm still in the studio with Ajia Rabi Salifu, National Deputy Com Com me Communication answer. Director <laughs> of the MPP. Me. And also Professor Benedict Ayaria Fusumensa is also a lecturer and a member of the NDC Communications team. Let me remind you that Game Pack Game is drawing on our Doom TV um, at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. So please join the game and, and draw if you want some. Uh, Mula, if you want to make some cash, you draw it's, it. It draws um, on Adam TV, so you want to join them and win some cash for yourself. Also, let me remind you, Game Park Game is actually regulated by the Gaming Commission, so please do not uh, join if you are not 18 years and above. Also, Ayesoko Betway Cash Shout just got better, and our enhanced. Uh, early partial and auto cash out features. Let's cash your out. Uh, let you cash your cash out early and cash out your portion of your ongoing bets, or even set your bets to cash out automatically. All those to give you way more control over every trillion bet that you place. So sign up today also on your betway.com. Dot GH. Terms and conditions apply and regulated by the, uh, the Gaming Commission of Ghana, not for persons under 18 as well. Now, let me remind you that Blue Jeans Energy Drink also has been on the market for 20 years and it already, you know what it does for you. So uh, join the Blue Jeans. Well, I think I've told you about the Blue Jeans. So let me give you uh, Kelkits, what Kelkits also has for you. Kelkit 360. We had a Kelkits. And then we have the Kel toothpaste. Now we have Kel 360 for all. And so uh, if you are desperate of getting a toothpaste that will take care of the family and save some money, then we recommend for the family Kel toothpaste. 
and it's a Kel 360 toothpaste approved by Food and Drugs Authority. So Kel 360 provides you and your family with all round dental protection throughout the day with freshness. Kel 360 toothpaste is good for the kids and children, adults. Let your family be proud family. And when you this when they step out by the constantly using Kel 360 toothpaste and Kel 360 toothpaste brightens your teeth, uh, prevents cavity, and with its cool mint gives you fresh breath throughout the day and protects the gum from decaying. So Kel 360 toothpaste is another product from Samara Company Limited, available on the market, malls, and provision shops. Call them on 0246 86 4798. Kel 360 toothpaste, it says, happy smile. Now, uh, we just played a video uh, that you saw on the screen. And um, on the back of that video, talking about rights and privileges, is a release from, is a release from um, the ECG to clarify why that statement. Okay, so... I'm going to read a couple of statements or news stories about power. Let me read this first, and then I'll read the ECG release to you. ECG only engaged in optics by disconnecting own government, uh, known government entities. The executive director of Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASEP, has criticized the electricity company of Ghana and the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, NETCO, for their inability to collect revenue. According to Benjamin Boache, this has led to the circulation of the debt and power shortages for Ghanaians. Speaking on uh, Joy FM, Mr. Boache stated that people are stealing power, yet these distribution companies have failed to address the issue effectively. He emphasized that... Both ECG and NETCO are merely engaged in optics by going to government facilities to disconnect them rather than tackling trade sample bills. Mr. Bochi stated that the government is not evading, not evading responsibility and that ECG can approach for negotiation on own payments, adding that you don't go threatening the one you know. <laughs> he highlighted the efficiencies uh, inefficiencies with the distribution companies, particularly ECG, citing technical and commercial losses amounting to approximately 30%. What it, that means is that if you give them two, Ghana city, two billion Ghana cities worth of energy every month, they cannot account for almost 600 Ghana cities million that goes waste. And that the government money and the government money you are chasing is not up to the money. Beyond that, Government is paying every month 250 million Ghana cities for suppliers in the spaces. So go hard, uh, go hard work. So the hard work of going after those are stealing, those who are stealing, we're not seeing traction and the inefficiencies with the ECG itself. We are not seeing how they are dealing with it. Unquote. Now, there's another headline that he said that we Ghanaians should brace ourselves for more power outages. And um, just want to see if and I can. And there's a press release to the video. Yes, I'm going to read a press read release as well. Um, OK. All right, let me just read this. I think when I find that one, I'll read it for you. So uh, ECG clarifies a clip of the MD social media circulation. It says that our attention has been drawn to the clip of our managing director, Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama Esquire making rounds on social media, which seem to insinuate an insensitivity to the difficult situation uh, on our cherished customers are okay, difficult situation our cherished customers are facing as a result of the current unstable power supply. ECG wishes to state categorically that the video is an extract of an interview which was granted over a year and a half ago. During the ECG Menyakobo Ampas, where, amongst other things, our staff were assaulted for requesting payments of bills from customers. We deeply regret the misunderstanding created by the resurfacing of the extract, this extract, which has been grossly taken out of context. ECG understands the plight of cherished customers and the public 
amidst the current challenges and wishes to assure the sentiment in expressed in the video does not, and that's written boldly, does not reflect the values and commitment of the MD and ECG to provide reliable electricity services. We're currently collaborating with key in industry players on the value chain to address a, a critical issues for a lasting solution. As a nation's foremost electricity distributor, we recognize the critical importance of electricity as a, basis, as a basic necessity for daily life and for our socioeconomic development to transform ECG to a modern utility company to meet the growing electricity demand and the expectations of our customers, which have undertaken various initiatives to enhance our operations and customer experience. Now, as part of our digital transformation agenda, A, mm, uh, and our quest to provide our customers with more efficient and hassle-free customer service, we continue to improve on the ECG Power App, which serve as primary digital platform for transacting all ECG businesses. We are working diligently to improve our revenue inflows and reduce our losses to enable us meet our financial obligations to our suppliers and invest in the distribution network to ensure a more sustainable and reliable power supply. We express our profound gratitude to the to the continued support and understanding of our customers as we build a brighter and more sustainable future together. It's signed by William Boating, Director of Communications of the Electri Electricity Company of Ghana. So amidst all the power challenges, Ghanaians were understanding ECGMD, Ajia, that since he has in his head that it is a privilege and not a right, that's why we are suffering what we are, what, why we are suffering what we're suffering and the fact that uh, they refuse to give us a timetable to you know also manage our ourselves on how to expect power outages as in when I and mean, before i even go on to that i want doctor to go back to her figures uh, she she kind of i don't know whether it was an oversight or she mentioned the wrong figure about the dollar cd rate today we are subject to fact check and then somebody just prompted me that Rabbi, you need to fact check what doctor said, most of the things she said. So that brought me back to the, the rate. She <laughs> mentioned 13 and this is what we have today. It's not 13. So I know maybe because of her seed or something, we just checked that and it's what not What was on it? It is 12.917. Um, yeah. So that is it. So that one, I'm pretty sure she wants to check that. It's, it's what? It's, it's 12 point. <laughs> it's 13 oh, point. Mention 13 the whole number there. Look at it, honey. You can read it yourself. This please. is from Google. Yes. 12.9197. So you don't tell our viewers it's 13.9 something. And, and she probably she has said, gone to a forex bureau and she's getting her 13. She should have stated. You see, she said today dollar rate is, look, yes. people do pick information from us. We are informing the populace. So if you come to me, anyone, anyone I don't who want wants to stretch to this. I don't want to stretch. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm just humbly passing it. You are not supposed to. Need, you need, are not supposed need, to stretch need, it. Yeah, of course, yes. You so are not supposed to I'm stretch it. But, but Rabbi, if, if I were the one, she's Rabbi, correct. Rabbi, now, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. Accept, you, since you it. took the opportunity to state it, and you want us to be factual on a platform. I'll give the opportunity to persons who also went to any forest bureau to also send or in their who rates. have uh, exactly. uh, come into experience to send with, in their rates. with any uh, you know rates. To Let send me in know their, but it's, how it's, much you it's, got it's the dollar well rate very at. good and expected of us to be specific where we are given go so ahead. that we don't also get people picking us wrongly <laughs> Adia, go ahead. and speculate. No, I'm also adding to what you just said. I'm adding. I'm humbly adding that look. As soon as far as they are bringing, it's also good for us. So always be specific on, on what exactly we want to say and not misinform. Because you know, they'll misinform. get you wrong. You know, no. you know that what you know that the forex you know, you know that the forex rates are actually oh, very Annie, subjective. I told, I told you, you know the forex come. rates are subjective. Even when they give us a financial report, do you agree? They finish and tell you subject to. Do you agree that the forex rates are subjective? I do. That's why I'm adding okay. you. Even if your financial, the business and finance people read the news. They always finish and tell you it's a subject to where you are having it. That's okay. true. But I'm just saying we shouldn't always leave information that vague. That's okay. why I'm saying. You so now on du lawyer um, Dubik, <laughs> you see Mr. Dubik or lawyer S. And Dumso, are we in Dumso? Uh, we are not in Dumso, according to them. According to who? 
to the, the, the leadership of the ECG. Okay. I have listened to them. I have listened to Leila Abubakar, their um, external PR person, who has spoken and mentioned, among other things, the causes. She mentioned about technical challenges that could be the reason. She also mentioned about some, like the, is it Emmanuel, which people that, that raised the concern you just raised? Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh, about revenue issues and all that. She no, 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 that's a... Uh, uh, which people spoke about there? Which, which, which entity is that? Um, why has his entity escaped me? Uh -huh. So I maybe you get it. Yeah. And, and she, she, ASEP, ASEP, ASEP. ASEP. Uh -huh. and she spoke about uh, about 91 health facilities, mm -hmm. including very top health facilities or in the, the, the ECG. And then summing it up to about 261 million Ghana cities, which is quite worrisome. Now, I am not even here to talk about somebody's right or who doesn't have the right or who has the privilege. What I am interested in here, and I know that is the direction of my party and government, is to get whatever problem is going on fixed. Do you get power outages if, in your area? Honestly, on, on Saturday, as I was talking with you behind the scene, I had about 30 minutes lights out, okay. but later it came back. Okay, for yes. how long did it stay for? I said about 30 minutes. Oh, it, it went out. Yes, so that's why I was surprised because I know your enclave and you are not very far from me. But you drew my attention that it's probably the case that we are not on the same phase. And then I had to let it go. Okay. But what I am saying is that be it overloading of transformers, be it um, revenue issues, be it purchase of gas and all that, I see it to be more of um, um, proactivity in production. Let me put it that way. In a sense that when you look at one of his statements, I mean the, the MD, he mentioned that he, he would admit that they haven't been effective enough in terms of their communication to the masses. Because people were in limbo, whether we are in doom so, is it a technical challenge, until we got the issue of overloaded transformers that came. The about 650 transformers mm -hmm. and all that. But what I am saying is that if the masses must know, they should let us always know consistently that given this moment, we have challenge of this area, so so and so is ABC. And that's why I got happy when I was doing the agenda 111 monitoring with Dr. Nsi Asari in Tamale. I saw a press, they, they captured the Kanvli, I mean, the Banvum, the Target, the Vitim, the hospital area, and they issued it. And this was read on several radio stations, informing the people to adjust. And I think that's a very good practice. To adjust now, to what? To adjust to whatever they would have been uh, expecting. Because they said it was a technical challenge that occurred. So and they were working on tree? it. I speak some tree, not very fluent tree, but I speak okay, good tree. But you understand Dumso? Dumso is off and on. So is that what we're experiencing? Oh. I am interested, or I would talk more no, is on, on the impact. No, that's not what I experienced. Is what? What I, I, is I what? experienced is not what I am experiencing today. No, you are not answering my question. What do you want me you to say? You don't speak Gucci, but you understand Dumso. Oh, it's off and Trinu on. Crown, it's make and I'm saying that. So what you are experiencing now? Mama, me say, yes, I'm in Titri. And me Titri, na me Titri na nyeti pa 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 ni. Okay, no problem. In Titri, see, I know they are also experiencing now. Doom any sono, which is the off and an on. So, so, so what I am telling is that the doom so I know that I would call doom so is the one like this. So the one you know now is what? This one is they have made me to understand that it goes off and on. They made you to understand. Oh, are we not quoting them? But you you don't you don't you don't you don't know what you're experiencing yourself. I don't, honestly when I even read your Facebook post, I was so surprised because I'm not honestly to be sincere. I am not feeling it to, to you and I'm not undermining how you feel. You understand where I'm coming from. I am saying what I see and even that I am telling you they are working on the problem that has occurred per what they have told us. So let's have that faith that, look, what we used to experience, having businesses to a halt, having a lot of distraction in this country. Look at even the internet cable thing that happened. Look at the number of inabilities we, we incurred. Most of us couldn't download anything. You couldn't do effective research and all that. This is much appreciated. And I share in the applied. 
for people like you, of course, it's not an easy thing to spend a weekend without light. It's not nice. No, I, I started but what experiencing I, I that from weekdays. Uh -huh. From to, weekdays to the Saturday. weekend. That is bad. And, and I am glad that at some point, reading from him, he has also admitted that they haven't been in, um, I mean, up to task enough in terms of information. And also for me, if indeed it is about revenue mobilization, they have to be extremely proactive and responsive. And I think... So, so let me ask you. Yes. You know that during the previous administration, mm -hmm. there was a revenue mobilization problem. Mm -hmm. Do you admit? Well, if there was, it doesn't mean it should repeat again. No, That's I'm what saying, I am saying. No, do you admit that there was a revenue mobilization problem in the previous administration? There was, yeah. There was. And do you admit that there were transformer problems in the previous administration? So myself and you are telling them to sit up, to do so, the right thing. That is not what we expect of them. And do you admit we that there was a generational problem in the previous administration? I mean, I do. And I also do you admit, admit that there was a debt problem? In the previous administration. Annie, I do, and I admit and will boldly say that the consistent light supply or power supply we enjoyed from 2017 till date, till this recent happenings, is something that we do appreciate. So they shouldn't let their inability or negligence, or somebody may call it carelessness, if that is the case. I'm not saying that it is, but just in case it's the case, they shouldn't allow this. To, to, to send us back to that painful but experience we had. We are not there, Annie. <laughs> you see, we have been here for close to two hours speaking. We wouldn't have enjoyed this. We don't want to get to where we came from. Oh, mm. where, oh yes, where we so, came from was terrible. So I am humbly appealing to them that, look, we have enjoyed good electricity. We are happy. We are grateful. And they shouldn't make a mistake for, la for us to fill it. Because it's not exactly. a good. So the, the day here is the technical people. The day here <laughs> is the ECG. The day here is the videos you are playing. The day here is that they shouldn't go and speak like lame horse, um, lame ho a lame a dead goat on a lame horse like he played. We don't want to have that in this country. We want a proactive fund. We want them to look up to President Nanado Denko Ekufuado. And ah. we want them to look so up wait, to wait, Dr. Mahmoud what, what are you trying to say? Because That's we have no, leaders so, who so, care. So, so the they, ECG now stands alone. The ECG admits, <laughs> they admit, and I, re, I read it, they are not standing alone. Let me come. They are part of uh, the system. But what I'm saying is that if indeed, and I have it here, the MD admitted that they haven't been effective enough in disseminating information. If indeed we have references made that revenue hasn't been effectively collected, they are representing government, they are serving the people, and they should give us the best of service. It's an appeal I'm sending across. I am not disowning anybody here, but if, Annie, you are not doing well, Randy should tell you, Annie, what I expect you is ABC, and that's where you are providing quality by day. So we as people, as government, as party that is supporting them to work, is waking them up and reminding them that you should present a true reflection of our belief. Listen, even in the press statement, it is clear that what, what the, the understanding that is being given in there doesn't reflect... Doesn't the, reflect what? The principle, I'm trying to quote it verbatim, I'm looking at for, um, the... We are currently collaborating, or oh, that is not it, as the nation for most electricity. We recognize the critical importance of electricity as a basic necessity you for are daily about life. This sentence. I'm looking for that That's sentence. Not, uh, what you're saying is you that ECG it. understands the plight of our cherished Good. government and the public admits That's the paragraph current four. challenges. And we wish to assure Excellent. the sentiment expressed in the video does not reflect the various and, and, see, and commitment even, of even our MD. Even that does not, they, they bolded it. If you can see in the whole document, it is the bolded because they you know, want to place it's, emphasis it's one thing on writing it. on a paper. It's another thing talking. It's Annie, coming out of your Annie, mouth. But it still means what, and you see, what, what, what the what, MD is trying to do with that. He's making us understand that, well, this was uh, an interview conducted about a year ago, right? And what was said in that interview does not necessarily reflect what their ideals of ECG is. However, it is the same problem that you were discussing on that program that day. And then it came out of your mouth by saying that it's not people go around. And it's that sentence that even makes it worse. People, it's funny, but people go around thinking that they, this is a stand, on, a stand on its own statement that represents an ideology, sort of.
But so they today, you, they are if you, you there is power, does, hold on, hold on. If today, value. Who, to, hold on, and I, commitment. I get it, I get it, I get it. I, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Today, if I'm having this problem, that you say is not as intensified or as worse as it used to be in the previous administration, that should even make it very easy for you to give me a timetable. But because you, quote and unquote, have an ideology of me not having I I the right to electricity, it means I can't even demand timetable from you. And, and I'm, I've linked it. And it's, it's, it makes sense to me that, okay, if this is what you are thinking, then it means that I can't even demand timetable. Can I talk? Yes. And, and land, we have a few minutes. About landing and talking. You see, there is something about crisis management. And somebody wrote somewhere on Facebook that PR is really expensive. You see, the choice of words, contextualization, and looking at the happenings at a given time is always important. And for me, it's mandatory on all of us as key players in this country to always look at the situation, how somebody feels about it, plight of the beneficiary, and then what you are expected to do. Right. I will not sit here to encourage any reckless statement to anyone. Because after all, this is somebody who is already going through darkness, who is not too sure about what is happening to his or her transformer or power supply. We expect better. And for me, I would always go back to the point, look, when people admit it becomes easy for solving the problem. The ECG boss has said, look, we would step up on our communication. We would go and do, and if you look at their statement, they say they are already working behind the scenes to fix the problem. So for me, working proactively, working effectively to get our blinds back to normalcy as we have been enjoying from 2017 today is my topmost priority. And I'm ending up by appealing to them. I mean the ECG. Everyone has said that this is not a capacity issue. This has nothing to do, even from their own explanation, it has to do with they being able to stand firm, get their monies back, and be able to purchase more gas. They should do that. Right. Because you don't expect leaders to come and take your seat like Dr. Prof was preaching, that if you have been taxed to do, the leadership is seated watching okay. you and correcting you to okay. do the right Okay, thing. Prof, yes. let me have you come in. Okay. Um, I want to first um, say that Rabi have failed to uh, know that when we talk our exchange rate, we have the interbank rate. rate, we have forest rate, and we have black market rate. Yeah, didn't say all this. So you when you just, somebody just sent you a figure, it's like, no, you gave us, a prof, you gave us Rabi, prof said, no, 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 prof, she, she, she gave us a vague prof, prof, statement. Just a moment, just a moment, Rabi. Okay. Is the ambiguity Rabi, of it I was Rabi, reacting to? Did you know that... Is there, there are ambiguity. rates, there are different rates, black market, interbank. I, I know, and I do, and I do, rates. I do, you know I do transact a lot. So you know I'm into entrepreneurship her, again. So need she, hold on, hold no, on. No, 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 hold no, Hold on, no. If she was vague, no, she is Rabbi, vague. I'm not going to allow you if to If she's vague, she's allow vague. You to do this. Hold on. If she came vague, she I'm came saying vague. That. I'm saying that. It's Any. not about somebody coming vague. I'm saying that. <laughs> if you knew that there were these rates, and she didn't state it, and yes, she said 13 points. If I know, percent. doesn't mean you all do our not Google. More. No, if I know. you are being intellectually dishonest. If, no, 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 you no. do not if, Google. If I know, doesn't mean the other viewer who, who, who is watching will just take it as vague as possible. She should have been specific. <laughs> when you go to this, but the point I'm making is about the rate known as ABC. Okay, I was only okay. drawing her attention that she might, and this was a statement so, I used. I said, Doctor, a so prof even, might so want Rami, to really look so at it. So even with interbank rate, to be specific. So even with interbank rate, do you? Think think that what you Google, you'll get it at interbank rates that way. How? If it is not there, why would they put okay. it? Okay. Ah, okay. Annie, what are you talking yes, about? So I, I don't know. I don't know where Rabbi slept it this. Not there. Uh, what I am saying uh, is that she should be specific don't. so that we learn more. We are all learning from each other as we talk. <laughs> Rabbi, what okay, so now it's, it's, allow it's my turn, yes, so please, please allow on, me. Yes. Thank you. So I just want to state uh, categorically that when we talk about exchange rates, we have the interbank rate, mm -hmm. we have forest rate, mm -hmm. and we have black market Good, rate. And I'm stating categorically again mm -hmm. that today yeah. the dollar rate is 13.3 Ghana cities to a dollar. Mm -hmm. So go and, and, and then find out. Oh, finish it. Now, 
What kind of um, exchange are you talking? Is it the interview? Rabbi, can you allow me? When you were talking, I'm not, I'm I was not, quiet. Not, Please, allow me. Today. Allow me. Do so not interject. So we shouldn't give our viewers full information. You see? No, Annie, do you want us to give her full information? Are you happy her full information? Yes, she should give full information. Rabbi, I am telling you categorically, the CD today is 13.3. Go and check out there. She came on her own. Go and check out there. You cannot. You cannot just quote from Google and say that that is it. Yeah. You are deliberately doing this. My time is running out. Allow no. her to make her point. It's good. She you go see, on. Annie, the issue of power outages is not new in Ghana. We've had outages um, in the in the eighties, in the nineties, two thousand six, two thousand seven. We had power outages, and in twenty twelve, we had power outages. But you see, you had or we had a visionary leader, His Excellency. John Dramani Mahama, a man who took responsibility when he had to and said he was going to fix Dumso when we had it in 2012. And indeed, he brought in AmeriPa that gave us 250 megawatts. He brought in Kappa that gave us 225 megawatts. He brought the bomb. Boom, thermal plant that gave 220. He built the Atwapu gas. He said he was going to fix it. And in 2016, Dumso ceased to exist. He fixed the problem. His Excellency Alaji Baumia acknowledged that Mahama fixed Dumso. And he said he deserved no praise for fixing it. But you see, the NPP administration thinks that you can govern by textbooks. You cannot govern a country by textbooks. They have failed and failed miserably in their governance. Look, when they came to power in 2017, they blamed NDC administration of having excess capacity. We produced more energy than we needed. And that was something that any time they kept on saying. And NDC produced, they had excess capacity, they had excess capacity. But what they forgot to tell Ghanaians is the fact that a visionary leader knew that we had an increase in population growth and there is a need to make that um, reserve margin so that should there be an increase in population, there will be a need or the, I mean, the population would still uh, have enough power to use. They also failed to know that when we had excess capacity, VRA, as at that time, was exporting energy to neighboring country, to Togo, to Burkina Faso, to Mali, and they had good foreign exchange for that. That is what they failed to realize. They also failed to realize that John Dramani Mahama fixed Dumso so that the recurring of power outages will end in Ghana. But the sad and the most surprising thing is that this current administration failed to just maintain what His Excellency John Dramani Mama built. They could not add anything to the energy sector. Instead of they also making sure that the, the expanded infrastructure, they did not do that. They did not also make sure that they provide the necessary um, capital that these uh, energy producers um, um, require to produce energy. They failed to, to, uh, to, to, to give them the necessary um, amount of money. As we are talking today, we owe the independent power producers. What this current government is doing is what we call the fire service approach. They will not pay the independent power producers their um, money. When they come and threaten maybe um, cut, uh, cutting generation or power supply, then they go and give them something small. And then 
promise them that, oh, you give us a few uh, more time, we'll come and pay the rest. Instead of making sure that they um, provide the necessary um, resources that they need. One other thing I will also want to mention is the fact that this current administration, I've always been saying that when they came, their lights have been on. What they have failed to do is to acknowledge the massive infrastructure of a visionary leader. His Excellency John Mahama did before they came. Because they thought you could govern by textbooks, they forgot that reality sometimes is not the same as theory. Today we have given them the power, or we've given them power, and they could not maintain the energy sector that was, you know, um, improved or massively before they came to power. It kept on saying that the lights have been on 2017. 2017, when it came to power, what did you put in place to make sure that the, light, the lights were on? That, you that, came that, that, to that, enjoy that, that, what somebody Gilles built. <laughs> somebody Today, you were just to maintain. Ah. All you needed to do is to maintain and, if possible, improve on what is there. But you have failed. You, for excess capacity. you have failed that. completely. You came and look, any administration, any government that will come to power is coming to you know, meet power crisis. Money. Because these people you have failed, the they borrow so much, they it. have failed, you know, to maintain what a visionary leader, you know, um, built. And I am so surprised that on platform like this, NPP come to say that they have kept doing so. If it were yeah, to be John like Hammer, they will say it is doing so. <laughs> but if it is yes, they say what? It is not do so. It is maintenance. It today, is like today, like today, the reality is that Power producers do not have enough capital to buy gas. <laughs> Today, we are owing these IPPs. We haven't paid them. And they go about saying that, oh, it's the, it's the public that is stealing power, and so that is why we are having so, power. So it is Mugu really Yaro unfortunate. I operate a forex bureau in Accra, and uh, we use USD. Uh, as, we, so, as we USD is being sold, well, they said the USD is being sold at 13.50% at forest bureaus. Okay. So that is, uh, I don't know where we are. So I sent it through so our, you see, our Facebook. You see, that by giving now, us where. Um, you see, my position is not the rate. My I position mean, is finished. So can you allow me? My, let my, me land. I haven't landed. I didn't clear. ask your opinion. Oh, I'm oh, Please, so, I didn't so just to, to even respond hey, to that is the fact that, look, if you are... Um, a businessman or a businesswoman or you are an importer, most of them, they are not able to get the necessary amount even from the, um, the banks. There are times even the forex are not able to provide the necessary amount of money our importers need. And mm. they have to even go to the black market. Mm. So if a forex bureau operator is telling you that, look, I am selling it at 13 point so 15, uh, 13 point, yeah, 13 here. point 15 Ghana cities. You cannot just it's Google it's and it's say it's that, no, no, oh, no, what, what I have I said is so not no, true. No, 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 you should be surprised. Whatever you say, but Ambassador Hazel is really not happy with you. I am saying she says you're being should, really he disruptive. He should, he should please he should, tell he her that. Please tell her that I say. Uh, please tell her that I say <laughs> what Ambassador, is happening. I appreciate that. What is happening now is doom so. I the appreciate of last night. The whole of last Ambassador. night, I had no light. Okay, it has been going on for some time now. So, Ambassador, uh, please, she it should be allowed. It should be fixed. Annie, let me just. Um, oh, you want this to have one? Time. Yes. Oh, I just I haven't land. landed. You kept interrupting my, 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 my submission. My time. You see, land. what land. happened is that when they had done so, Ooh. they kind of tried to Ooh. do it at the outskirts. They were shedding between 250 to 300 megawatts oh per day. And Instead of trying to resolve the issue, they felt, oh, let's do it at the outskirts and people wouldn't notice it. But now you can realize that things are getting out of hand. And today, we have some places, four days, they do not have light. Then they tell us that it is maintenance. And the funny submission uh, Rabbi just made is that ECG didn't come to tell us that it is doomed. So in 2012, did ECG come to tell Ghanaians that it was doomed before he said doomed? So 
You were all in five radio station, who, and Amahama is incompetent. <laughs> so now, who the, initiated the name? The, 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 the incompetent like this leader, the visionary leader, fixed doom so you couldn't so. maintain it. Just maintenance is much easier than you know starting something, foundation of something. It's more difficult. No, me my so point is, me it. my point you is, you couldn't well, just hold on. In the previous administration, mm -hmm. if we had generational problem, we had gas um, um, debt problem, we had gas supply problem. These are major, and we had what we call doom so. And in the current situation, you say it is none of these, but it is maintenance. Yet we're seeing what we experienced in the previous. Then what exactly is happening? That maintenance can bring us here. You see, this government, they are so incompetent. They are so um, hypo uh, hypocrites. The very people who said NDC had excess capacity and every time issue of energy come and now you people you sign in into agreement that gave us excess capacity and we are paying for this excess capacity that is not even being used forgetting that even that excess capacity they were exporting and getting for his bureau okay. now you're talking about excess capacity yet Ghanaians are sleeping without light and you come and tell us that it is maintenance what kind of maintenance is ECG carrying out that almost the whole country we are having uh, lights out. You know, the sad and then very embarrassing situation was when we had um, the African games. They were playing. And all of a sudden, the lights went off. Ooh. Yes. When? When? Where? The African when? games. You said when? when? No. So when? when last week. Really? Think, what in, in, yes. It's the lights went so off during the opening air. And that is the kind of <laughs> government that we have. Very, very, very Ali, Ali, dishonest people. They will true. not acknowledge Ali, the hard it's work it's of a visionary true. leader. You see, I was, in the, I was in the stadium. You know what happened? When they were doing the opening, um, you know these artists, when they are coming to perform, most of the time they deem their space. Mm -hmm. So they, then they, they took off the stage lights mm -hmm. and they brought it back and the artists started playing. So even myself, I was like, how? It was so, so, Doom so, 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 so hold It on. was Doom so, so they were it, playing. Were you able to they say, were playing. Hold they were on. Playing. So was it the whole stadium or was it <laughs> stage? It was the stadium. Oh, really? the, the whole when? stadium. The stadium went oh, then, off. Then, then the not, stadium then went off. Well, should you tell it's, us it's when, not. It's not an artist. It's not. It is not. You see? You see? So, Annie, she said, she said, I'm not you sure about that. You don't have to take it. You don't have to take it. Neither do you have to take it. We will, will cross check. Saying, we will so cross check. Cross cross check. So, Annie, isn't every citizen entitled signified, secure, and uh, healthy life. Is there is it a privilege or a right in order to enjoy secure, signified, and healthy life? Studies or uh, has identified four basic amenities that every enjoy, everyone enjoyed, irrespective of social media cla social class. That is uh, stature, religion, gender, ethnicity. These four basic amenities are water, electricity, drainage, and sanitation. How could enjoyment of any of these be a privilege? Have a good day. And, and that's a question that they're throwing at me. Uh, but let me just do this quick one before we, we go. Uh, Romanus, today is your birthday, and, and um, I just want to use this uh, opportunity to wish uh, Romanus a happy, happy birthday to you. And thank you so much for being uh, an assistant to our boss and making sure that he, he have the best, he has the best of, uh, you know, time. So it's, it's Mr. Leslie Carl, Ni Ama Ama, that's your full name, Ni Ama Ama. This is from your wife, Ifwa York, to you. So happy birthday to you. And also to Joseph Inkum, Ochre, an 80th happy birthday, Grandpa. And thank you so much for also taking care of you. For Ifwa, today you have a lot of, uh, you know, good days to, uh, to celebrate. So happy birthday to Joseph Inku Ochre, who is the grandfather of Ifwa Atayok Ama. Happy birthday to you. Um, ladies, thank you for making time with me this morning on the platform. Don't and thank you as well. Way. No, my we, time we is up. We can't say bye bye to so our So we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> our love. <laughs> well, good morning, Ghana. We can't wave our love.